Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. Today I'm doing a review on the Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam. They go by like two different names. One's Brio, the other one's 4K Pro. Same camera. Uh, but there's some there's some things that you got to know in advance. It's not it is a plug and play. But you got to use different things to get the results that you want. It's not like let me download the Logitech camera settings app and just hit record and go. You actually have to have a recording device and you can use the Logitech software to change the settings of it while you have it pulled up on your recording software. Now the best recording software that I've been able to find that matches up and syncs the audio with the video and gives a great quality has been the camera that's built into the Windows 10. And all you gotta do is type in camera down there, it'll pop up, you click it, and then boom, you're, you're there. And you'll film in 3840 by 2160, even though the camera can go up to 4096 by 2160. That 38, uh, that 3840 is what you're primarily going to use or be able to use. And that's really probably all you really need to use anyway. But the cool thing is the recorder is built into the Windows 10. What you're going to want to do first is when you get the Logitech Brio, go to Logitech support section. It's called support, support plus downloads. And pretty much you can get to it just by going, typing in Logitech Brio. That'll carry over the Logitech site. And right up there at the top when you're on the Brio page it'll say support plus downloads you go there then you click the webcam and then webcams and then you can select Brio and it'll show you everything available to download for the Brio all you need is to download camera settings it'll be out to the side of say download but here's a little catchy if you want to have where it automatically fills in the background like you have a green screen because it does have the facial recognition stuff in it you want to hit details next to camera settings and download separately the download background replacement. You want that. And that's going to be able to give you the, the all those options. And you can insert your own photo in as a background thing. But that's how you get to that. I couldn't find it. I was like, I've downloaded the camera settings. And if you do download the main thing, that's not it. You have to go into details and go right into the background replacement. Okay, by the way... I'm filming this entire thing on the Logitech Brio 4K Pro webcam. My brightness is at 33%. I've got a pretty well lit controlled environment here, so I'm running at 33% brightness, 46% contrast. My color intensity is 42%. My auto white balance is turned off. I've already set that. And the auto focus is turned off. I'm pretty much focused to infinity now. Once you get past like three feet from the camera you can set your focus to infinity and that's kind of really all you need and also another thing that you need to know is the windows camera app which you can use to record this which is the one i recommend uh it's a little iffy but just mess with it a little bit the controls are down around the right side there you can push near the record button and that pulls up your autofocus or whatever but you can also just right click on the logitech camera desktop thingy that you've downloaded uh, open it as administrator and while you've got the camera pulled up your camera app pulled up in Windows it'll have a controller a little Logitech controller box there and that's where you'll tweak and make all your adjustments for the Windows camera app uh, this recording software that comes with Windows 10 is the best simplest form to be able to get exactly what I'm seeing no motion blurs no no skips and stuff like that it's just the best option so and then when you're done recording on the Windows 10 camera app uh, down in the bottom right corner will be a little little video of what recorded click that uh, open up the page and you're like well, what file what folder did this go into click the little three dots uh, hit info I think it is file info or something like that and then that will carry you over into the file that it recorded to. And that's kind of all you need to know. It's just a nice webcam. If you run applications that uses webcams, this is kind of quality you'll get. I think this is a good thing. I think it looks really great to me. I'm looking at myself right now, and I think it looks solid. Uh, I'll leave a link to a product review right there in my hand that I did 
if that's the backing for it but uh that i did which you can kind of see what you can do with it i guess if you want to try to get something that's a good universal tool for uh live streams product reviews you know the one camera to rule them all i think you might scoot by with it now i'm using an external microphone and i'm sure you want to hear the microphone up here but it's just two stereo mics they sound great there's other videos out there by the droves that just has that sampling it i really don't want to go through and change my configuration too much i just really want to focus on the camera quality uh what you needed to download and, and the free app on your windows 10 that you can use all right i can't leave right now without telling you about variable frame rates you will have variable frame rate rates with this logitech brio 4k pro um, that does not jive with Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. It, Adobe just does not recognize variable frame rates. And webcams are notorious for giving you variable frame rates. Now what that is, is whenever you watch the video that you recorded on a Windows player, it, it syncs just fine. You pull it over into the uh, uh, editing application, uh, it's out of sync. It works its way out of sync from beginning to end. It's just completely out. That's due to the variable frame rate. You want a constant frame rate. Now, I have to use Cyberlink, and I just throw it in there. It takes like 10 minutes because it can process really fast or render really fast the video. And I just throw it in there. I don't really edit with the Cyberlink software, but Cyberlink does recognize variable frame rates. And whenever I render out, it makes it a constant frame rate. Then I just throw it over into Adobe and now I have the constant frame rate. Rate. There's a program that you can use called Handbrake and that's actually what Adobe recommends, but it can take you hours to go through there and, and to change over your video into a constant frame rate. Now it may be absolute lossless data, I think there is some losing, uh, some loss in data going on with Cyberlink, but it's not terrible and I'm going to work on trying to make that a solid lossless transition so I can just make it a constant frame rate. So just keep that in mind when you buy this. If you're using Adobe to edit, you will be dealing with variable frame rates and you'll have to use some other application to make it a constant frame rate. And just another tip, I highly recommend using the camera mics to record your audio and a separate external recorder as well. Now you can use a recording application and a microphone that you have connected to your computer. Uh, go that route, but that way you have a true form of audio, a better form of audio than what you're going to get on the, the video recording itself. Because once you try to possibly go over to Cyberlink, render it out to get a constant frame rate or use handbrakes, something might happen with your audio and it might sound terrible and then you can sync uh, your audio together and just use the good source instead of the camera source you can try that see if it works for you i'm going to start doing that myself but i hope you enjoyed these little little tips because variable frame rates suck on adobe just let that imprint on your brain i hope this helps helps you find and navigate through the confusion of this logitech webcam it's not a simple purchase and you've got all your tools and necessities with it to download in one little, little lump oomph. You actually have to have more things to go along with it. So thanks for watching Isaiah's Reviews. I hope you like and subscribe to the channel and share me to all your social sites. It helps get me to places I can't get to them on. I really do appreciate you watching. See ya.